how to time travel. I'm slowly losing my shit. Anyway, let's build a clock. So this clock is going to consist of two mirrors, a distance D apart, with a photon reflecting off those two mirrors. It's going up, down, up, down. And every single time it goes from one mirror to the other mirror, that is one tick of the clock. Now, let's give me a clock in my hand as I run up and down my room. And to me, that clock is stationary. That clock is stationary. Even though I'm moving, that clock, to me, to my eyes, is stationary. But to a man standing in the corner of my room watching me run, he also has a clock. And he's looking at his clock and his clock is stationary to him and he's looking at it and it's dandy, fine, great, amazing. It's going up, down, up, down. It's ticking well. But he looks at mine and he says, his clock is a bit messed up, mate. Because his photon is traveling a larger distance to each mirror than mine. Now you must ask, why is that? Well, that's because when the photon reflects off the first mirror and starts going to mirror two, from his perspective in the corner of the room watching me, from his perspective, that second mirror has moved a bit in the horizontal direction. And so it's no longer just on top of the first mirror. It's a bit to the right or a bit to the left. And so now that photon has to follow a larger distance. It has to travel a larger distance to get to that second mirror than if he's just looking at his own stationary clock. And so by the time that his clock makes a number of ticks, say 10, my clock will make less ticks. And so that means time from his perspective has slowed down for me. So from his perspective, standing in the corner of my room watching me run, he thinks that time is running slow for me. And from his perspective, he's right. But now let's turn it around. And now I think that my clock as I run is stationary and it's ticking fine. No, none of this following a larger, uh, traveling a larger distance. I think his is actually traveling a larger distance, even though he's stationary. But to me, I am stationary. To me, my clock is stationary. And his clock is actually moving. Think about it, close your eyes and think about it. He is moving, even though I'm moving and he's stationary, in reality, based on our feelings and senses, we think that I'm moving and he's stationary, but he isn't from my, what we like to call reference frame. Reference frame is just a coordinate system that um, some objects are in, such as people, trains, cars, whatever, and they're in that reference frame, that X, Y, Z coordinate, and everything in that refer reference frame is like relative to each other. And so reference frames are relative to each other. So I have my reference frame, which is me when I'm running, and the clock is in that reference frame as well, and I'm in that reference frame, and he's in his own reference frame as well. He's in his own reference frame of with him and his clock, and his clothes and his knickers and everything in between, right? So that's his reference frame, this is my reference frame, and we must also point out that I'm talking about inertial reference frames, inertial being a big word for not accelerating. And I want to clarify that, that is a very important thing, so this is an inertial reference frame case. If we start talking about accelerations, things get messy, we'll leave that for another video. But let's go back to it now, let's go back to the idea of he thinks that my time is going slow, but I'm seeing him move. So I'm seeing his clock do this whole, his photon is traveling a larger distance than my photon. And so his time is going slow. So I think his time is going slower. I think his time is going slow. He thinks my time is going slow. Who's right? Well, Einstein put it amazingly. He said time is relative and time is relative. That is a fundamental truth of our universe. As far as we know, all time is relative. When you're walking down the street and someone's stuck in traffic, as you can see many times in London every single day, your time for that person sitting in the car, if they look at your clock, if you were holding an atomic clock, you know, which is really fashionable nowadays, walking down the streets of London, then yes, they would say that your clock is moving at a slower rate. 
But you would say the same thing about them because to that to you, they're moving at a slower rate. Now, Earth is rotating at a thousand miles per hour. That's movement, and so, and also it's it's moving at five hundred thousand miles per hour throughout the galaxy, right? So if we had someone that was stationary relative to our movement in the galaxy, they would say our clock, our clock, Earth's clock is moving at a slower rate than their clock for that stationary observer that's just chilling in the Milky Way galaxy, or outside the Milky Way galaxy, actually. They would say their, their clock is going slow, but we would say the same thing about them because to us, we are seeing them move. And so it's all relative. And so I guess what you can take away from this video is that everyone is lying. No one has the truth and everyone just makes shit up all the time. So don't believe in anyone and follow physics way. And don't do that in your soon accommodation because the guy came up and had a go at me. So fuck.